We are constantly evolving to meet the needs of our community, and we strive to be innovative, collaborative, and inclusive. The goal of the Cadet Orientation Police Studies program is to proactively engage youth and provide an overview of the many working parts of Saskatoon Police Service. We partnered with Saskatoon Public Schools, Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools, and the Kiwanis Club to achieve this goal. The three schools were invited to participate in an eight-week school-accredited police studies program. Young people, uh, the youth of our community are important to policing. As part of our future, the, the, the uh, future of recruitment for the Saskatoon Police Service. You can see that the future of our, of our service sitting right there. And everybody has a role in public safety. We get paid to do it full time, but every citizen in Saskatoon has a role in contributing to public safety. And when you leave here with that understanding that you have a role in the community, that you have a voice in it, and that your contribution counts, I think that we've been successful whether or not you ever join policing as a career. The eight-week uh, COPS program is experiential learning at its absolute best. Hands-on lessons learned while working shoulder to shoulder with uniformed officers. Our students are given a true sense of what it means to be a police officer. From rappelling down staircases to learning about explosives to the importance of communication, investigative skills, and community policing. Not only is this career, career education at its best, where they inspire students to reach their potential and dream about what their future could be, but it's also character education at its very best, teaching our students the values, ethics, that are so very difficult to learn from books. Things like discipline, respect, professionalism, compassion, integrity, and dedication. On that very note, I would like to say a very special thank you to all members of the police service involved in the COPS program. For me, and I'm confident for all of us in this room, the Cadet Orientation Police Studies Program puts forward a different and a very positive face on the school boards, on the Saskatoon Police Services, and of course our club. But more important, it puts a different face on these young people who demonstrated so well to us their capabilities and what our future is going to be. From the three West Side schools and countless people who applied, it was us 16 who were chosen. These past eight weeks seem so long yet so short. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, before 1,400 hours and 30 minutes, or 2.30, we'd all rush to the police station to attend COPS because we all know that Angie is there early and would tell us, guys, there's five minutes left, let's go, let's go, when actually there's 15 minutes left. <laughs> Though because of, oh, through her encouragement, we were barely late. When or if someone is late though, or forgets their keys, namely me, Aunt Kit, Hazel, <laughs> Allison, Kimo, we've all been in there before, or their uniform, Ken. <laughs> the whole team, not just the individual themselves, would receive punishment through running laps, push-ups, sit-ups, you name it. These consequences made us learn the true meaning of responsibility as a team. Then there was drill. For many of us, it was a test of our physical and mental cap capabilities. One wrong move and you hear, four walls! We learned attention to detail was key, that one mistake can change everything. We also learned to trust each other, that we could, we could count in sync, move in sync, and do it right, that we are a team. The COPS program also gave us an insight on police work, the behind the scenes of their job. Each of us had the opportunity to go to a ride along and a sit along, which both were amazing experiences. There, were, there was also our investigation case that we worked on from the first week continually till the last. We solved it as a team, which I'll spare you all the details since I literally can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> For many of us, we only know what is shown on media, TV shows and movies, when in reality, policing is much harder than what is shown. Though this program had many challenges and hardships, we, were all we all successfully finished. The fact that we made it here together is a display of our teamwork and our perseverance. Each and every one of us had learned and experienced so much in this course in such a short amount of time. As part of the COPS program, each of us cadets became leaders representing our community. 
This is ex explained better but by Colonel John Nicholas of the Colombian Air Force, and I quote, leadership is a given gift by those who follow. Lead by not walking past a problem without fixing it. Lead with passion. Be a leader to everyone because it is the strength of the entire team that defines our success. And with this, my fellow cadets, I say we did succeed. Before con completely concluding my speech, on behalf of the COPS class of 2018, I would like to thank Constable Pam Fouquet, Constable Erica Weber, Constable Baranji, and every officer who contributed to our program, and of course our families and friends and those who encouraged us to do better. Also, a special thank you to Qantas Club for sponsoring us. And before I forget again, congratulations to COPS 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, COPS Connect Class 2018!